up gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right also this is your february minimum month rating this is going to be we're going to backtrack a few days so february 15th to march 15th 2019 so let's see what's up y'all now this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus gemini signs okay and whatever comes out comes out so let's see what's going on here um keep in mind guys and i say this all the time but i don't expect this to resonate with 100 percent of people just too many of you but hopefully we get the gist of what's going on in your life um and just realize that any of the energies here could be vice versa so it could be something that's happening to you um or something that you're kind of putting out into the atmosphere so let's see what is going on for my gemini's february mid-month 2019 So we have past. You guys are going to see me constantly looking at the screen to make sure that it doesn't stop uh, recording because it does that sometimes. Just getting used to my new devices here. All right. So we have past, present, future. All right, y'all. So... The energy that we have here, guys, is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So off bat, some of you could be dealing with a situation or maybe you're single, you're playing the dating field, you know, you're seeing what's good for you out there. Um, or maybe you're dealing with a promiscuous situation. But if that is the case, I do see you guys giving up on something that's just way too adverse where um, there's people that are kind of being fake or dishonest, okay? So a sense of something that's just not going to make you happy and realizing what that is and moving away from that. So let's see how things, you know, develop here, guys. So going into the past, the first card that you guys have is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So this is a situation where something, you know, could be ending, but this could be very conflicting. If this is you talking to someone else, you know, it's like people aren't listening to one another. They're kind of just, um, you know, waiting to speak. So that they can, you know, say what's on their mind, but they're not really listening to what's, you know, being told to them. They're not trying to understand. They're just trying to kind of like shout over that. We have the Four of Cups. So this could have been in regards to an offer that was not accepted. Okay. But, or an offer that didn't come in. When you guys have the Four of Cups, it's kind of like that national out, like, oh. You know, like maybe this isn't the best for me, um, especially if it's within like love, job offers that come in. It's, you know, disinterest to accept anything that may be around there. All right. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So because of something that didn't happen or because of something that you did not accept or that, um, you know, someone didn't accept for you, this is for the best, guys. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands, this is something that's going to allow you to really stabilize yourself. This is something where you have a solid foundation, where good things do come in. Now, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse as the next card for your past. So it could be an ex or, you know, someone from your past coming back in for you or you doing that towards them. Why is this Eight of Cups in the reverse here? We have the Knight of Pentacles, so for some of you it could be towards Virgo Capricorn, for others of you this could be something in regards to work. And we have the Five, and that is why I have to pay attention to if I'm recording or not. So sorry about that, y'all. Um, okay, so the last card that I had pulled out, and I'll backtrack a second, but yeah. So maybe uh, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming in for some of you or you trying to reach out to one or this could be something um, from the past that comes back in in regards to build, uh, building like a business or something, you know, financially speaking. With the Five of Wands in the reverse, this is an energy of not wanting to fight, not wanting to argue, just wanting to be, you know, drama free in a situation. Um, but there's definitely a reservation that somebody has here, okay? Um, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse as well. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. So whether it's you or another person that you're dealing with, I see somebody that's really just trying to have a new start happen here with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse um, and the Empress card. But it's like no matter what's said, no matter what's done, you don't get the outcome that you truly want here. Um, and most, you know, it's most likely because there's someone who's not genuinely invested. So maybe this is something that you guys are fighting for, but 
you know, it might be something that's done more out of comfort than out of genuine desire. Or maybe that's how someone feels for you. You know, maybe um, somebody genuinely just didn't want this and they were just around for convenience. OK, it could be something that has to do with the loss of money as well. OK, so with the last card being the King of Swords, this is something that you guys really have to be strong in. And this is you guys really uh, coming into yourself and realizing that there's going to be certain things that you need to cut out so that you can remain focused, so that you can remain, you know, um, in a place where you're constantly, you know, on a path that's going to be best for you. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And you have the Queen of Wands. OK, um, for some of you, this could have been in regards to Leo, Aries or Sagittarius or just something that you were very passionate about. But guys, look, it's showing that it was good judgment to release something. All right. With the chariot, the reverse, with the two of cups in the reverse, it was just something that you weren't going to be in control of. All right. So when these major arcanas come out, that's the universe kind of giving you a swift, you know, kick in the butt saying, look, this wasn't for the best. And that more things come to you, uh, more success comes to you once you realize that and you move away from this. OK, so we're in our present moment right now. So the first card that you guys have is the two of pentacles with the two of pentacles, really trying to find balance in the situation, maybe weigh out the best way for you to go about things. Again, that King of Pentacles in the reverse is here. So um, if it's not in regards to losing money um, or something that you're not genuinely invested in, then it could be someone that is not genuinely invested in something with you. Okay. And you guys just having to find balance here, but there's just someone that's not, you know, sincere in all of this. All right. So that's where this fallout has to happen. So you, it's like you guys know, but you're still having this back and forth here. And there's a lot of conflict that's felt here. Okay, in regards to something that you want that you want to build, but that you should move past. Okay. Now the next card that you guys have, which is also the center of this reading, is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So with this being your energy, guys, you really want to be self-aware with how you're reacting to something. Because there could be someone that's kind of just bringing out the worst in you. All right. This is an energy of somebody that really amplifies problems and they're over the top. So um, you know, you could be bitter over how things have developed, but you want to make sure that you're not making things worse than what they already are. Okay. This is someone, and I use this example all the time, but, um, you know, this is someone that let's say they've had an awful day and they're driving home on the highway and one of their tires goes flat and that's like the breaking point for them. They're like, holy fucking shit. This is a day from hell. All right. So out of anger, they get out of the car and they slash the other three tires. You know, so it's like you, you didn't have to do that. You just have to fix one. But now because of your overreacting, it could be, you know, you being on the side of the road for a while. So just make sure you're not putting yourself in that position. Um, and if someone's getting you to this point where you just kind of feel all crazed up, uh, make sure that you recognize that. OK, because it's not a healthy energy, guys. We have the page of wands in the reverse, which could be someone that's not speaking to you. You're not speaking to them. Just a lot of, you know, shit talking that could be happening if there is still interaction here. But again, with the judgment card, it's like somebody here just doesn't like um, what in, what a situation is ultimately coming to. But guys, that was going to block blessings for you. Okay? All it causes being around you is loss. All right? Now, the last card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles for the present moment. So again, this could be in regards to Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, for others of you, this could have to do with finances. So you could be coming to a strong place financially. Okay, we have the death card in the reverse and the devil card. All right, guys. So for some of you, there could be maybe something that you want to do in regards to business or maybe even in regards to an earth energy. But at this point, whatever it was that you guys aren't over or haven't let go of, it's a dance with the devil. Okay, um, there's too many toxic energies here, guys. For some of you, it's a Capricorn specifically that you're dealing with. I don't like this energy for you guys. I don't. Okay. And it's like, again, you guys have so much indecision because you know it's not the best for you. And there's still this, you know, back and forth dance. So, again, manipulation, just too much unhappiness here. You're meant to go on a whole new path. You're meant to do something completely new here, guys. So just don't self-sabotage. Don't hold yourself back from a beautiful new beginning that you could have. But, you know, even just in the future, um, and I'll pull the three cards, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to clarify them each evenly. But 
you guys are upset because of something you have a hard time letting go of and it just needs to be released so Gemini was good guys I wish I could just shake you and give you guys a hug and be like wake up get out of this this is holding you back y'all you have to move on ace of wands in the reverse seven of pentacles the loss comes from waiting on something that may not be coming in okay Guys, when it comes down to depression, when it comes down to sadness, things like that, um, it usually happens because we're focused on the things that we can't have or we're focused on the things that don't work out for us or, you know, we're focused on the past. If you keep, you know, thinking in that way, it could be something that really affects you in a negative way. So I want you guys to focus more on what you still have going for yourself as opposed to what may not be there anymore. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. The emperor in the reverse. So it could be, again, someone that you guys try to reach out to. And either you or them is kind of just being fake and dishonest here. But whatever this is, guys, your, your power is being compromised. Okay? Your power is being compromised by dealing with this, by engaging yourself in this. Um, maybe some of you feel betrayed or maybe someone you betrayed. Uh, some of you betrayed somebody else. Because there's definitely a feeling of, you know, heartache here for something that you may still desire. But again, guys, I don't see this being a good um, situation for you. Nine of Swords in the reverse. You have to release this. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And the Queen of Cups. For some of you, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, for others of you, in order to reach a place of, you know, emotional stability. Again, you're going to have to let this go, guys. So, listen. This is what we're going to focus on, the two cards that we had at the top of your energy right now. You have the hanged man. You have the chariot in their verse. So, my question to you guys is, what in your life do you not have any control over? Okay? Where in your life are you not in the driver's seat at all? What is spinning out of control? You need to think about that because in regards to this, you can't overexert yourself with it. Okay, so you really just need to focus on the things, guys, this month that come in for you naturally. All right, that's going to be the biggest thing. You guys are fighting, um, you know, what your soul wants for you, what the universe is trying to set up for you because of your stubbornness or maybe someone else's stubbornness in the situation. Maybe there's something that you are trying so hard to get out of, but it's just like it's, it's very difficult, okay? But there's something that you don't have control over or that someone doesn't have control over you with, and you can't overexert yourself with that anymore, guys. Something that you need to cut out that won't grow. For some of you, it could be with love, a third-party situation. Um, for others of you, maybe just crappy friends that need to be let go of. But you need to get off this path, guys. It's it's too much of a detour, guys. Way too much of a detour. Whoever, whatever this is, it's, it's not worth it. I don't see it as worth it at all. Okay. So I'm going to pull y'all some cards of advice. And let's see what's up here. Get three cards of advice for the sign of Gemini. February mid month card guys that kept slipping out of my hands king of swords in the reverse guys the fact that this kept falling out of my deck the king of swords in the reverse whether it's someone who's making you feel this way or you just feel that way where you're over the top and um you know someone's just kind of acting in an abusive or crazy or just like overwhelming overburdening sort of way it's, it's not gonna work for y'all okay whatever makes you feel like that or whoever makes you feel like that no good okay 
a lot of pettiness, guys. The worst that could have happened in the situation, it's done. It's over. Maybe some of you are going to turn your back on a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, maybe some of you are turning your back on something. And because of that, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is able to come in. But wherever you feel conflict, that's what you have to stop working on. And then it leads you to happiness. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, guys, for a lot of you, look, you just need to take a chill pill. You just need to take a hiatus. When you move away from this, celebrations come in, even though you have to kind of suppress the pain that you might feel in something. Or maybe someone's doing that to you. But even behind that, five of cups in the reverse, y'all, two of pentacles in the reverse, you find balance, you get over things. You're able to open up to a much, you know, more calmer sort of atmosphere. So you got to turn your back on whatever's making you feel reckless. Whoever you feel like you have to curse out or whoever, you know, tries to curse you out, it's, it's not healthy, guys. So a lot of you will be going towards water energies, and that's fine. You can accept an offer there. But right now, again, I feel like the hanged man is kind of the, the characteristics that you should take on or um, just the energy, really, that you should take on right now. If you have to bend over backwards, if you have to do all this crazy shit in regards to whatever this is, it's it's just not healthy. It's not working. So don't drive yourselves crazy, Gemini. Don't. All right. So, guys, stay woke. Stay woke. Okay. You, you guys are very smart people. You're very sharp thinkers. Um, I just don't want you guys putting yourselves in a, you know, a situation that could bring more adversity than what you need to be going through. Okay. All right, y'all. So I love you guys so much. Um, for those of you who are on Instagram, you can follow me there. And I have um, daily energies that I post. I always put the signs that I'm posting that day too, as well as the order for the monthly and mid-month reading. So you can always catch that, High Vibrations 44. And for those of you that would like a personal reading, um, highvibrationswithliz.com um, slash book dash online. But all of this is in the description below. Um, just know, guys, I have a brand new system because the old one I had for uh, personal readings was not working. So so um, with that being said, I only take three appointments a day. So when you go to book, just select the day that you want it on. Um, and that's the day that you're going to get it. If you really need to get to me very, very quickly and there's no openings, then I do offer emergency readings. So you can always take advantage of that as well. All right. Take care, guys, and be smart this month.